go this is John the cameraman there we go we're live I hope can you hear me guys I hope you are let's have a quick look John John the cameraman make sure he's recording properly and it looks like so we're going live and I'm gonna be showing you coming John then show you how I turn these side seats here into a double bed so as you can see it's nice and clean um, nothing much in it at the moment we're not actually using it it's just parked up on our drive um, but when we go out with the family so it's me generally me my wife and the two kids a seven-year-old six-year-old and a two-year-old we obviously need to sleep four people so you can see the double beds here top bunk it's about 800 mil wide this one's about 900 mil wide both nice and cozy so they both sleep one person but obviously we need a double for me and gina my wife so um i came up with this concept because i needed storage both sides i needed to walk in and out still when i designed this this doesn't have a sliding door this one um so this was the only realistic way i could get a double bed in here compared to other camper vans which have them at the back or you know other different ways i wanted to use utilize all of these sections for storage too so it has to be a bed and had to be storage so if i open it up excuse that that's just my junk box and that shouldn't be there because i'm just powering something at the moment you can see i've got all my batteries set up here and my inverters my power supply is 12 volt and 20 uh, and 240 volt and you can see this lid, these lids are just hinged on these um, inset hinges. Yep. And the same on the other side. This side is the storage for the bed itself. So we've got our duvets in here and we've got all our pillows and underneath our pillows is the actual boards that go from this point to this point to make the double bed. We've also got a diesel heater in there, which um, I can't recommend enough absolutely superb um these also have to double up as a seat when you're driving they have to be nice and secure so if i move this back you can see the way the seat belts come through a nice little routed slot and when we come to make the bed in the moment we'll just drop them through these will stay here because they won't get in the way so these pillows will be reused for the bed this one will and this one this can be moved over to and this one and drop down in the minutes act as a pillow as well so i'll be showing you those two um we designed the mini bus to be the kitchen side to start here so i think we've left about 1.6 width so when the bed's out we can still also sit in this section here and have a bit of city seating space when the bed's out um but we also wanted to maximize the kitchen workstation I think this is about 1.6. I, I can't give you exact measurements, but we didn't want to go too wide with the double bed. So basically, I think it's about 1.4 1. 1. possibly. Anyway, that's the width of our double. We're going to be sleeping that way. Um, it's not for the tallest people. I think the overall length of it, because I've lost a little bit in the backings, I put these at slight angles. So when you're sitting there and traveling, it's, you're not sitting upright. You, you you know you you you're leaning back a little bit. So I've lost an inch or so with these backings. So if you're like six foot, you will be bending your legs a little bit, or sleeping in the um what's that position? Uh, side position, little cool in that little ball. Anyway, spoon position. <laughs> spoon, yeah. Anyway, perfect for me. As you can see, I've got tons of room in here. You know. Even John, he's like, what are you, 5'10", 5'11", and you five, still ten. Got, you, yeah, you, you're 5'10", and you still got 80 mil left over. Um, he laid down on it just to see what it was like, and he said it was comfortable. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and show you how I do this. So, first of all, I just shove these up at the top. Yeah, on the double on the bunk on the top bunk bed they just rest out there this seat belt drops through and that one does too the same 
A little bit trickier when I've got my pillows. I can pull that seatbelt through now. Step two, get rid of all these pillows over here or even on the kitchen. We should really have timed this. So they're the four pillows, all the extra, basically part of the mattress. And then we've got four pieces of birch ply, same as the bed itself. So same as the furniture material. So all birch sanded up really nicely, 25 mil thickness. So it's nice and strong. And we pinned on these little tongues, you see? So these little tongues here, these tongues ultimately slip in the little gaps that you can see the LED lights. So when we put these side panels on, the framework of this, we've allowed a little recess. So when this flap goes down, that will slip inside that recess. Okay. So that's the reason for the tongues. So with that up, my first one here has a little notch. Can you see? And what that does is it locates into the first slot here. So I've got a little screw either side. So let's give you a demo. Click that in. Can you see the screw there? I mean, I could have used a dowel or something, but when I was rushing to get this mini bus done. So there we go. That locates into there. And the hardest part at the moment is just lifting that up and getting that located like so. I wanted to make my life easier. I could easily just lift this flap up as well. So we do that just to make life easier. There we go. So next piece, and it doesn't have to be in any particular order now. They could just go in, slip into the grooves. One, two, so that's two pieces done. The idea was these were going to act as my tabletop as well, which they still do. They bolt onto the post, so they can get utilised for the table. So there we go. So we've got all our pieces in. Let's drop down one of these flaps. <clears throat> like so. Before, before I drop that one down, all I need to do is get out my duvets. This is my top duvet because I basically, instead of having a fitted sheet that goes over all my pillows, I have a double, double duvet. Because it just makes life a lot easier. <sighs> Why am I out of breath? I don't even smoke. Uh, hope you can see it. Is it all nicely zoomed in? You can see yep. it properly. Let's have a quick look at the screen because I didn't really set this up. Yeah, I, I guess that's the... All right, fair enough. So now we've got all of this ready. So we've got basically the bones of the bed out. And you can see why I've put my two pins, you know, those two screws that were there to locate this. Now this can't slide out of the way and it can't, the pieces can't slide apart. It's not going to go that way. It's just against the kitchen unit. So that is my thinking behind it. So what I will do now is I generally don't really move this. I will, I do for the video. That one goes in. Let's go and bring these back. That goes in there. And again, this flaps down now. Instead of being up, I just use this as an extra support for my head. And the same with this. Now this basically bolts up your pillows. So when you're sleeping, you don't need that many pillows. You just bung one on there and it gives you a little bit more head support. Let's bring all these back in. Okay, so. One. And when I came to measure these, I made them slightly tight so they're wedged in nice and, nice and tight and they don't move around as you're sleeping. See how they go in really snug. There we go. All right, so that is the bones of the bed done. So let me give you a little demo of how long it is. So, yeah, 
perfect for me. Two people. You have me and my wife in here. Got the little boy in here when he, if he wakes up at night. You can get three people in here, two and a little little kid with you. I think me and John, John, you wouldn't fit in here with me, would you? No, I'll no. doubt it. Right. Don't think we leave and give it a try. Nah. So, we've got a Lightning McQueen double duvet as our fitted sheet as such. We, it's generally me and Bertie when we go out. Um, we haven't done that many trips with the wife, um, all four of us, and then we've only done it once or twice. And me and Bertie generally go, so a double is enough. Um, if I wanted to, I'll just change this to a king size sheet and that'll stretch the whole double bed, the whole bed. But it doesn't affect me. So basically that is my sheet and it's really comfortable. I've gone for a firm uh, foam. You can buy them cut to size from all these shops. Um, cut to size foam, you know, all those sort of online shops and I didn't go for soft because it says camper vans recommended go for medium. I think it's medium. And it works. And the two bunk beds that John, John's leaning on, those are the same mattresses, but they're 100 mil thick rather than 50. So these, no, actually these pillows, I think they're 75, I believe. They're 75? I'll have to confirm that with you. But they are really comfortable. And I did try fitted sheets when I first moved in, tried to put the fitted sheet over all of this and then it just didn't work. So I thought, well, the easiest way is just use a sheet. You just use a duvet. It's more comfortable, it's got more insulation at night. We've done a couple of um, nights, me and Bertie, we went to Cheddar Gorge in uh, Somerset, in the caves, and we went sort of like in February time when it was absolutely freezing. And when I didn't have my diesel heater at the time, so when you're breathing, you're just breathing out, you know, where you could just see the, uh, the steam white of the condensation. It was that cold. It was like in the minuses. We had a woolly hat on and we had our jumpers on and our leg warmers. And it did um, really do the trick having this little layer, having an extra duvet as our sheet. We've got a nice um, duck down duvet as our top layer. So we've got insulation, we've obviously got an air insulation underneath the bed, which helps. Um, we've got 75 mil pillows to lay on, and then we've got a double duvet to lay on, and then we're covered with a duck down, whatever you call them, duvet as well. And it works really well. Um, nice and comfy. So when me and Bertie have made our dinner and we're, we're sort of chilling up for the night, we just get our pillows, I haven't got any pillows here, and we sort of wedge them in this corner, lean up and have our TV down, because this flaps down. That turns. DVD player, or we connect it to my internet, and we have Netflix on, and we just chill here, have our dinner, eat our dinner while watching TV. Then we've got our, we'd have our curtains down, and we'd have our, um, what are those things that we've got, those silver things that go on the glass? Oh, you're seeing behind you there. They, they're j just c c covers. Insulators. Insulate covers. Yeah, so they go on the two sides. Windows. Yeah, they go there, there and there. And then just add a little bit, we've got this that goes across just to make it even more toasty. And with the diesel heater, it's beautiful. So it takes five minutes, you know, when I'm doing it on my own, it's three or four minutes worth of work to do this. I just thought this was the easiest way to get storage in both seats, to have the seats as usable legal seats, seat belts, and to have a double bed. Um, also, this way I can use the pieces to make my table. Um, I can utilize those middle bed pieces to make the table. So it works. So I'm chuffed the way it works and it doesn't take long to get it in and out. So let's do it in reverse. So, should really get a timer. Should have done. Yeah. One duvet down. Two duvet down. Pillows folded up. Let's just put them over here for the sake of the video. Make it a little bit 
easier. This will then go over here again, make it a lot easier. Flat that up to be able to move these out of the way. So they're not the lightest pieces. I could have gone for 18 mil. I went for 25. It's just a bit more sturdy. Yeah. We're spanning <clears throat> about, I don't know what these are, 800 mil. My rule of thumb making a wardrobe, you probably watched some of my videos. If I span over 18 mil with a shelf, if I span over 600 mil with a shelf, I always beef up that shelf to 25. And obviously Bertie's been jumping on it, all the kids jump on it. I don't want it to snap, even though Birch is really strong, 18 months to snap. I just don't want to risk it. I don't want it just risk a bit it. more protection. Yeah, I don't want it bouncy, and you know, I don't want it to be all springy and to be decent. Yeah, up the top. It's handy having this little bunk bed at the top. Lift that up. See the spaces now. And this framework is all CLS timber. I thought I was going to use two by twos. Um, I was actually thinking of making it like a wardrobe where these cabinets were going to be made like a wardrobe, you know, with 18 mil carcasses. But I just thought, let's just knock it up with some CLS framework. Not really my style. I want everything to look nice, but they were inside, not the end of the world. I just had to make sure that these pieces fitted nice and snug in and all the pillows. So, so that was the planning. And I also needed mounting points for my seat belts. So stop the stopwatch timing has gone down out the window hasn't it <laughs> it has you can see it's really really it doesn't quick. take long so, there we go. it's nice you know when you've made something yourself and it works satisfying. it is satisfying I, mean, I, I find it satisfying my wife's not really that bothered at all she's not fussed whether she goes in a minibus or not I saw, I built this for the kids. And I'm a big kid myself, so I love it. I get more excited when I go out with it than the kids do. And when we had lockdown as well, Bertie, me and Bertie were in this, you know, when we weren't working and we didn't have any work on and we couldn't do anything. We we're in here near enough every day, like having little camping sessions, me and Bertie. He perfectly planned. It's it, it, in as well, yeah, it? yeah, it is. I mean, that was I did design it all so it maximized. So, there we go, this one seat up through, and it's all in the planning, isn't it? As you know, whenever you build something or make a wardrobe or you make anything at all, it's all in the planning. Big pillow goes down. And I do have, where are they? Uh, I didn't, oh, there we go. We've got these things. They go basically in between to stop the pillow moving when you're sitting on it. I didn't want to use Velcro on these seats. They do move a bit without them, but I wanted them to be, if they get dirty, you can flip them over. And you so less washing basically. And you know, if they do get, I, I, just, I just didn't want to put Velcro or any other form of fixings on these pillows to stop them moving. So I think like a little rubber mat works fine. There we go. So let's get our backrest. Backrest just get held in place. Again, I could have used Velcro here, but it had, you know, it does annoy me every now and then when they fall down, but it's not the end of the world. So that's that. You see, we've got the LED light switches here. Both sides. I'll leave that on for now. And these are slow close hinges as well. So they do take a bit of the weight of the lids as you lift them up and down. I'm not going to lift the seat belts through these gaps because, to be honest, I didn't really need to there. There's no point showing you that. I don't need them out right now. Um, and then we've got That's one more. That's the other way around. Oh, zip, zip, yeah. Yeah, they twisted a little bit on us, the covers. You know, at the, at the beginning, I was a little bit anal. I was like, oh no, you know, they did annoy me, but you know, it's going to get wear and tear, isn't it? This mini bus. We were using it the other night, and me and you went away, didn't we? 
yeah not long ago um went and with bertie just to go out because we were buying something in bournemouth or somewhere like that we parked up um and then we had bang 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 at night time and what somebody was doing it was bashing the side of our van we were just they keyed it didn't they? they keyed it down the side and we've got no idea why we're not hurting anyone doesn't even look like a camper van from the outside um wasn't making any noise we were sound asleep it's about three o'clock in the morning we came out and noticed a big key mark all the way down the side of the van and chips so there's not very nice people out right there nah nah so there you go i have also done it where one of those pieces of the bed the um, and one pillow we could just keep out or i just every now and then i take it out because when you're out you can slide it in the groove wherever you want it so for example if i just want to sit here and have my legs up I just get one out and it's just like, you know, you can be a bit more comfy, a bit more snug. So, you know, I've got a million things I can show you in this mini bus. So I'll maybe leave it for days like this where um, I'm too busy to actually edit a video. Um, if people are still interested in the camper van and want to see how I make things and why I've done it, I'll leave it for other days. But um, that is my way of making a bed with storage and seats all in i hope you liked it yeah i hope you liked it and uh i'll leave it like that guys um have a good rest of the weekend see you later yeah take it easy bye for now how do you actually stop it i don't know yeah <laughs> all right guys we're still live obviously there we go we're gonna say bye now we're still new new yeah. to this uh Liveness, right? Bye. X, bye. I oh, see how many people.